So I got this in a black and white setting because this is just some basic black and white, um, I wouldn't say common sense because clearly people don't have common sense or they don't understand what common sense is. By the way, Thomas Paine has a book out has a book out. This book has been out forever. Thomas Paine, Common Sense, I mean, from the days of war and George Washington, all of that. You might want to read about that because that applies to a lot of things now. Thomas Paine, Common Sense. Anyway, when it comes to certain people who therapy has now, is literally now a trigger and a buzzword and a narrative word. Therapy, psychologists, counselors. And that is not to say to knock therapists and counselors who are really, really good at what they do. Every counselor who's ever met me literally cried at my story and said, how do you do what you do? What am I supposed to do? Ball up in a ball and just roll away and die? Tried that. No lie. Doesn't work. But the point I'm making to some of you, before you uh, just spill out what you're going through, through to your counselor or psychologist or psychiatrist, you might want to vet that person. Because evidently, narcissistic counselors and therapists and gurus are a thing. Narcissist means they will use your information against you. They will use you as a supply. Reminding you, they are, uh, well, you are feeding them. You are their cash crop. You are their client. But what is a client to some? To some, a client is just like a drug dealer. You know what? You get that person hooked and you keep them coming back to you. That's what some narc counselors and psychiatrists and psychologists do. I'm not saying the good ones, but I'm saying I am clearly aware, especially if they call themselves gurus or whatever it be. You give them that information and then they turn it on you. And next thing you know, your life is in misery because you gave your information in trusting fashion to a narc. The moon in Libra is speaking today from heart. If you get it, you get it. I'm just saying, before you just give away, therapy is a thing, okay, but vet your therapist too. I mean, you vet everything else. It, really, you need to vet the people that you want to love, but you really need to vet your therapists and your doctors too. Because just don't assume that because a person gives themselves a title or even has a title, that they're good for you. They're good for them. They're doing what works for them, not for you. You have very, 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 very few of us who really do it because it's our heart. It's in our DNA. It's in our legacy. We give this, and then we realize we give our own gift away. While other people are literally uh, making money off of our gift and say we don't exist. If you know, you know because it's been done to me before. Experience is a teacher, real experience. And then the gift is a person who can reach that mind who says, you know what? I felt her all the time. She never lied. She never switched. She was always that chick. There's not a lot like me. Very few, in fact. Everybody can't be an oracle. And nor really should you want to be. If you if you were you really wouldn't want to be me. Honestly, you wouldn't. So think about it. If I'm the one that's literally telling you, you know, that preacher's fake, that teacher's fake, that leader's fake. Everything about Hollywood and Hollywood is fake. Those people online are fake. Those, th that psychiatrist and psychologist or whatever they call them, that therapist is fake. That person's where that organization is fake. Then I get hated on. It's, uh, it's, it's, but it's poetic justice. Because when that stuff goes wrong for them, it really goes wrong. Because justice really comes back to everybody. It doesn't matter your clout, your status, or that lie that you tell to yourself. See, you can have some psychiatrists and some therapists who are also narcissists. So they need help. All I'm saying is vet your people. Vet your people like the CIA would vet you if you stole some money from the government. I'm just saying. The moon is in Libra. I'm on my assignment, and I don't do grime it, if you know what I mean. So before you steal from me, you might want to realize you're stealing from a much higher team that we see everything you do, and while you're vetting everyone, we're vetting you. The balance of power. But do you know what you see when you look at me, and what am I to you? Saturn and Pisces. Have a good week. Incoming. I'm going to take a few days off to sleep. Go back through the class. It's timeless wisdom. Got some good like that. Peace.